Hello beautiful people, like, share and subscribe. So let me just skip into the news. Uh, so one Aisha Abubakar, a woman leader of the APC, who doubles as bandit informers has confessed to receiving only 5,000 from 9 million and a motorcycle paid as ransom to bandits in Castina State. I'm going to read this news, it's very short. So Abubakar uh, uh, reportedly uh, organized the kidnap of five family members of the Tassesi Ward APC chairman and was paid. Imagine she even hey she gave you format for her full APC chairman and was paid the sum of five thousand. In a viral interrogatory video, Abubakar revealed how she supplied information leading to the kidnap of one Alaji Sanusi, two wives and three children of the APC chairman in uh, Tan Siawa Ward in Matazu local government area of Castina. She also confessed to have participated in another cattle rustling operation, which fetched her the sum of 20,000 naira. Um, so basically, she collected a very paltry sum for cattle rustling and the kidnap of her own fellow APC chairman. Let me tell you, I view an average APC person as a bandit. This woman is not different from an average APC. You see, because you cannot tell me that after so much killing, after so much corruption, after so much plunging of our people into poverty, you still support a political party like that. You will say, if Obi joins APC, I will never support him. It's not possible. And I can tell you that APC is the worst political party in the world. I don't care what is happening. I can tell you categorically. Plunge 130 million into poverty. You know what is 130 million? Eh? Killed more than 60 something thousand people under Buhari. Now, continue. Do you know they still kidnap today? I just read the news that they kidnap people in, uh, in the southeast in the bus. Eh? But kidnapping is not like under Buhari. I'm not gonna lie for you. It has the security situation is bad, but it has improved. Under Buhari, it was like every day. I don't that like what I'm saying. I don't know how whether it's God's intervention or the hunger is making the bandits uh, think twice or. The Nigerian uh, security architecture is working hard. I can tell you that it has, I'm not gonna lie for you. It's not like on that Buhari. I almost, sometimes I used to cry shed blood, or maybe now my heart is like still. I, I don't have sympathy anymore. Who knows? But I just feel like it, I follow the news and I see what is happening. So, if you an APC woman leader can be doing it, what do ordinary people do? If I was reading news, a young a minor in the north was informal for bandits. Many of them see this bandit within as a game. You understand what I'm saying? Video game. And it's poverty. When you look at how much the bandits are paying them, giving them reward uh, for uh, giving them information, you'll be shocked. Small money. That's why I said, if I'm in power, I will plant spies everywhere. Imagine all these people, bandits paying 20,000 and you pay them like 100 or 150. You think they will not even go and live with the bandits and be giving you information? That's what I'm saying. The secret security, security agents are just useless. The bandits, people know where they are. So you can, you use the village women. Nobody will even know. You just pick her up. Tell her what you're going to be. Just be paying her. When she sees the first money, second money, ah, she will sacrifice her, her time. When you see that her information is casted, you remove her from that place. So that's how you do it and remove this. Thing. But it's not like Nigerian government doesn't know where these uh, uh, bandits and these kidnappers are. They know. So even in the south is the same thing. Even in, you see, you need to pay informants way. They will be DSS for you. You understand what I'm saying? So for me, this uh, APC people, I've always meant me. I can't carry my hand and then money. Carry and give APC person. I know. Go to Reno Most Chris page. This is I'm telling you. Go to his page. Go to his page this morning and see how many of my brothers from the southwest are all dancing in bigotry and. All manner of, I don't even know. Sometimes you start wondering. After typing that rubbish, are they enjoying at home? You know. Let me know your thoughts. So, me, I see all APC people as bandits, and I, I think you should start seeing them as that, because you cannot tell me I'm, since the elections, I have never seen a Labour Party person that went to kill people. It, in fact, during the election, they were killing Labour Party officials. I remember one woman in Kaduna. I don't know whether Peter B ever visited that. Peter B should, if he has not. One woman leader, and many people, many people were killed. About 11 of people that supported, I'm talking of top people in the Labour Party. So, APC is a criminal organization. And until we start saying it like that, 
we are not going to move forward. Tinibu thinks this is Jagaban. This Jagaban will end in shame. I'm telling you, this is I'm telling you, you will see it. Our tears will not go in vain. Not because P2B didn't win, but they didn't follow the due process where when we all felt like Nigeria would have changed a little bit. And they still um, drown in their corruption. And they are not still asking for forgiveness. So they are shame. Even when Omokri will be like second to the last. Before t- I'm telling you, Renomokri will end up in shame. You will see this and I'm telling you. Let me know your thoughts. So.